Hi everyone, um, uh, we already make a bookshelf, so now we're going to make a book for the shell. So we're going to press X to delete and we're going to add mesh plane. Press 7 on the dynamic keyboard and zoom in. Go to edit mode and we press Ctrl R until we have one line. Not, do not press, roll with your middle mouse until you have two and then left mouse click to press escape so we're going to select them first of all edge selection right click on that one shift right click on that one and we're going to bring them together so we press s x and this is the thickness of your book to something like that right click on that one right click on that shift right click on that one do the same s x i want to enlarge my book a little bit so I want it to look at like that. Okay, now we're going to uh, flap it over 90 degrees. So right click on that one, shift right click on this while holding down the shift button, select every edge. And the cursor is over there, I don't want that. I want it on the active part over there. And we're going to make a turn on that side in Y direction. So F, Y, 90 enter do the same over over here right click on that one shift right click on that one shift right click on that one shift right click, click on that one but hold always the last one this because i want to turn about that one r 90 minus 90 or y minus 90 so everything is okay now we're going to turn so go back to object mode okay and we're going to make a turn of 90 degrees so r y 90 minus and we have it okay first thing is done the basic shape now we go back to edit mode and we're going to add a few other things okay we're going to press ctrl r until we see the purple line over here press the left mouse click and press escape go to add a tool Let's go over here, tool, add modifier, subdivision surface, and we put it at three. You see already the basic shape of your uh, book, but it is not looking like it should be. So we're going to add a few things. First of all, control R until you have your purple line over here. If you have it, do not press, roll until you have four, one, two, three, four, left mouse click and press escape directly. Otherwise, you position it and both on top and underneath will not be the same. So, same underneath. Control R until you have that purple line. Okay. Roll until you have four. Left mouse skip. Escape. Good. We're going to select the, the top one and right click on the other one underneath. And we're going to position it. Let's say it something like this. So you can see the edge very good until you have something like that. Let's say for instance, 0 0.29. Yeah, okay, 20, sorry, 0 0.9. Yeah. Select the other two, do the same, bring them over there also. And we say for instance, 0 0.43. Same with that one, 0 0.3. 66 66 should be it has to be the same value as uh, 66 66 like that okay and we're going to select these two and we're going to bring them until over here a few millimeters from the top so we get a nice rounded edge yeah it should look okay okay now we're going to select that one and bring him down and we're going to bring him down one hundredth of a millimeter until there you're going to select that one if you don't know look to the left side and there you see your d value d value until one hundredth not as too much yeah something like that okay you see there's still these big radius i don't want that so we're going to press ctrl r 
we roll with the mouse, mouse until we have two left mouse click until we have them both and I want them in Y direction so I press SY and we're going to roll them outside the same thing as on the other side let's say millimeter of three four from the outside okay we think we're already proximally there okay we're going to select that edge because I want that edge also uh, a little around so shift that one holding down the shift button and select that and we're going to bring it a little outside because I want it a little more I want that shape a little more round so it's looking more like this okay we're going to add a tool add solidify uh, there's a, th a certain thickness to the to the book and I want it going to put it at zero two like that and if you want it inside or outside to switch from that side to that side uh, for me it's not that important I always choose on the inside this is looking okay so we go back if everything is good for you go back to object mode and apply that and apply that one so the outside of your book is already ready now we're going to add, look at the inside and for the inside we're going to add mesh plane again and we scroll it down shrink it down by pressing s and we shrink it to something over there we're going to make a turn or x 90 degrees like that and we bring it outside something like this on the edge more to the center of the book and we're going to shrink it now a little bit in both directions so we're going to shrink it first in z direction this s z until it just touch it's too far like that that's probably too much s z so it should not vanish into the other material like that okay we're going to do the same on the other on the opposite side so sx in that direction and for instance over there we're going to have a look on the other side it's too large so sx again and we're going to bring it a little more slow uh, like that it's not a big problem although on at the end we can uh, change it also so um, okay we're going to Control R again until we have that purple line in the middle. And be, before we can do that, we have to go to edit mode. Control R, not that uh, purple uh, line, but on the other, on the opposite side, in this side, and roll until you have nine. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Left mouse click and escape. Why nine? We're going to start over here because I want it. To look like a book so bend it now we go to vertex selection and we're going to select every vertex and and not the outside and we're going to bring them inside like that later on you can we're going to uh, select the shift button and right click on the the two outside and we're going to bring it more to the center we hold down the shift button right click on the outside two and we're going to bring it to the center hold down the shift button right click on these two loosen the shift button and move it aside do the same with that until you have something like this if you're not not looking for you okay yeah, you can select them all again like you want and say okay I want mine to be a little more but always pay attention that you select two of them that everything is symmetrically not that one otherwise it is a little complicated afterwards to get a nice look okay I want it a little further so we're going to use the B selection tool B left until there it's with the left key uh, the left mouse click 
and we're going to enlarge it a little bit show it look so, okay now we're going to that side and what I want over here is same a little bit I want it a little bended like the outside of the book I'm going to select all edges like that it's not the outside we're going to bring them a little more outside shift right click on these two and shift right click on these two shift right click on that two and shift right click on these two okay and now i want that little bend in the, the book also so we're going to add Control r and we're going to put uh, three lines so i want r three so i roll until i have three lines left mouse click and we're going to bring the first one over here good we select by using the edge selection tool the other one and we're going down the alt button right click on that one and we have selected everything okay alt right click on that one and we have enlarge it do not pay attention that the it's more bended than the other one this is not important it's the outside that counts okay this we're going to do is we're going to vertex selection and we're going to select these two vertices and we bring them down until we see one of them okay we see one of them select the other one and bring it down until you see the other one just just to see it and the same over here okay uh, mine is not looking so good so we go I'm going to select these and I'm going to enlarge them a little bit like that and uh, now I can select that one and go do the same until I touch the material same underneath bring that up bring that up sorry and bring that up if this is not curved enough or I don't know let's select it select it I think that these are good but the center is not that good so I'm going to enlarge it a little more and this is too much it's more like in like this these two also a little bit outside you can play a bit around with it until you have what you want and now we're going to uh, put the rest in it so you're in edit mode to select everything press a to deselect everything and press a again to select everything and now i'm going to extrude in y direction so e y and you enlarge your book until it has the same value as underneath so something like this i think okay but i'm, I'm going to move it a little bit allow yeah going to object mode but mine is too much to the downside so I'm going to move it a little bit up in y direction so y and we're going to position it over there so if it's looking rather okay now now we're going to add some materials so select materials new and a book is sorry this book is normally white or the papers are white and uh, but mine are is a little old one so it's it's a little more yellow uh, creamy okay now the book we're going to select the book and we're going to add a color and we go I'm going to call that one Bordeaux uh, and that's something over here a little more to the red I think and a little darker it's more wine color going to add a texture and we're going to choose a texture uh, let's say of a nor and we're going to add a color to that one or we're going to choose that but a little more to the purple side and a little more shine let's have a look okay 
if you're not f look liking that, you could switch to object also, where you get more of that pixel st structure. I'm going to show you in a few seconds what the difference is. Okay, good. Um, now we're going to look at the camera position, so we're pressing 0 on the num key, and we're going to press N to get that menu, and we're going to lock the camera view. I think everyone is familiar with that. And you can position your book now where you want it. I'm not going to rotate mine a little bit like that. Th that's uh, done by holding down the shift button and the middle mouse key. Middle mouse key is to turn, holding down the shift button is to move it up and down, but I think everyone knows it. If this is okay, unlock the camera view and press zero when your mouse key when your mouse is in your screen. Uh, okay, and now we're going to add the lamp at the correct position. Just right click on to select the lamp. We'll bring it down. That's too much. Bring it down. Until somewhere over here. Going to copy by Control D, and we're going to position another one over there. I think. Uh, go and have a look. We're going to render. Before you render, pay attention that you have the correct format, and you put it at the right output directory over there. It's just to show you. Okay, render. Mine is looking like this. If you think. This is not what I want, and I want not that structure. I'm going to show you that another structure. Go back to uh, the D view, select the outside, and go to structure again, and say, okay, I want that other one. Uh, I'm going to render it again, and it's something like this. I prefer the other one because it, I liked it more. So, object. And render. For those uh, who want some certain text on the book, I'm going to show you how to do that. We go back to 3D view. We're going to add mesh text. Sorry, we bring it up a little bit. And we're going to change the text. We're going to edit mode. I think everyone knows I'm going to call it my name. And we go back to object and we're going to shrink it a little bit by pressing S. Okay, and we position it where we want. I want it over there. On top of it, no problem. Just above it. Okay. And when it's good looking okay, I'm uh, we're going to uh, control C, press Ctrl C and we're going to mesh from curve. When this is done. Just to show you, you have the book. I'm going to call that one book by double click on it. Uh, so I know. And we're going to select the text. We go to Tools, Add Modifier, and we use the Shrink Wrap. And we're going to shrink wrap it in the book. And now we're going to have it a little, little lift off. Not much. Now it's on the book, lying precisely. If it is too much, you can say, okay, I want the half of it. So, for instance, 0, 05, like that. And we're going to add color, new, and I want mine in green. Like that. Okay. We go to the tool and we say apply, and now we're going to render again. And you have a book made with your name on it, like this. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much.